Yeah, I thought uh, uh, it was a uh, man such a fun time of year. The atmosphere was really good in there. It was just uh, a good college basketball game. I thought our guys had a had a really good effort from from start to finish. Pretty much, we had a couple lulls in here um, here and there, but. I just thought it was a tremendous effort, the way that we uh, shared the ball and just uh, our, our overall energy and, and how we played. So just was real happy with, uh, with how we performed. All right, we'll take questions for either of the student athletes. If you have a question, raise your hand, and we'll get one of the uh, remote mics to you. Questions for either? OK, let's start in the way back in the center. Talon, how, how important is this tournament to you guys? It, uh, it's really important to us, you know. Uh, we came up short in one championship, you know. We're here to prove that we are a championship contender team. Other questions? Raise your hand. Okay, let's let's. Get, we got three right on the center here. Go ahead on third row. Let's start right there, and then we'll work our way down. If you've had time to kind of think about it at all yet, obviously, know that the, that they just ended. But looking at at the uh, Auburn matchup tomorrow, obviously that was a game that you guys I think lost by. 40 there. Is that, is there any kind of extra motivation kind of with how that game went to face them tomorrow? Question, question was for who? Either, either athlete. Okay. Uh, Colin, why don't you take that one? Um, Auburn, very good team. They really dogged us out first time. So we're going to come with that mindset that we play with against every team. Just do our best, follow our rules, listen to coach, you know, and then play off each other. Play with good ball movement and move just so we don't get stagnant because they do a really good job of pressure. So if we do all our main things, I think we have a pretty good chance. All right, go to the center, second row. Colin, what made you so effective tonight, today? Um, my teammates really just get me in, in the right spots, you know, hit me when they see I got a good, like, chance to get around the basket and score a lot. So I really credit them. And then also coach for writing up these plays so that we could, like, you know, get open, have multiple options. And I was just hitting shots today, so that's always good. OK, go to the front row, center. Uh, and for both players, uh, I think it's six points to end the, sec uh, the first half, and then the first 10 to start the second. It, what changed? How did you, know, how did you guys kind of just seize control? Because Arkansas came out pretty strong, but then you guys just seemed to squeeze the life out of them. Talon, did you go first? Yes, sir. Um, <clears throat> You know, our main thing is defense. We're a defensive minded team. It started with our, up with our head coach, you know, and he just came in and told us that we need to get stops. And the more stops we get, we just deflate them and we just, our offense is going to work for itself after we play defense. Oh, yeah. Just, you know, <laughs> coming in with a different mindset, we started off flat. So, you know, every time we come out that halftime, you know, let's just ramp it up because the other team is definitely going to pick it up. So just compete the best you can for the last 20 minutes. OK, we've got a question in the center towards the back. Talon, was the mindset to pound the ball inside um, from the from the get go? Or was it after maybe some outside shots didn't fall for you guys and you started to uh, go inside of your bigs? Uh, most definitely. You know, our base was scoring around the basket. And the best basketball is inside out basketball. So I think that's the mindset that we had. A question in the center, second row. Did you have one? Okay. Uh, you were describing that getting into the paint. I think 14 of the 17 in the second half uh, were layups. How did you? How were you guys able to to get the ball in the paint? Is that a thing of just you know being more physical? Is it just about getting the passes down to the big guys? How, how do you go about that for that both guys? Both. You want both? Okay. Uh, Talon, you want to take that first? Yeah, I take it. Uh, I would say we just just our players. And how Coach drew him up, I mean, I think it's bound for us to get the ball inside. And, you know, getting stops and just pushing in transition, inside out threes are the best three. So, you know, it's keeping the game simple and uh, just trying to find open man. Yeah, I guess it's like when we're in practice, you know, we got to rip drive, rip hard, never, like, get pushed off your way with resistance. So, you know, just attacking strong, making a strong move at the rim. We got time for one more question for either. Anyone? All right, we'll excuse the student athletes. You can return to the locker Thank room. You. Thank you. And we'll continue on with questions <coughs> for Coach Barris. Let's start right on the left in front. Lamont, because he didn't play his first game till December, he didn't have his first start till the middle of January, kind of caught fire here in the last month or so. Do you feel like you have one of the best kept secrets 
in some ways, maybe not so much a secret in Colin? Yeah, I, I mean, I've I said this, I don't know how long ago, and I keep keep saying it, and it hasn't changed really. But his ceiling is so high; it's, he's got an unbelievably high ceiling. He's, I just don't even think he's close to it still. And he he continues to achieve, um, and continues to grow more than anything. He continues to grow. Um, some of the shots he made today were off balance, uh, moving away from the basket, and it takes incredible touch to finish some of those. So, um, yeah, sure, I guess I guess it's a secret. I mean, I don't know how it's a secret at this point. He's been playing really well, and our team's been winning a lot of games. So, And he's a, he's a key part to it on both sides. I'm telling you, defensively is where he really he really stands out defensively. He's so active. As he, can, he anticipates um, at a high level. He's got a tremendous feel. Um, and then he's got, uh, uh, he's got the athleticism both vertically and from an agility standpoint that allows him to make plays and then recover when he makes mistakes, typically. He's a, he's a high-level high level player. OK, question center aisle, third row. Just kind of looking ahead also at, at the uh, Auburn game, is be, what did you learn from, that, from the loss at Auburn that's kind of, I guess, you're looking to kind of maybe fix the most tomorrow? Yeah, I mean. We sat down and watched the film. There were a lot of things, you know. I almost threw the film out <clears throat> just because it was it was an anomaly in the way that they performed as shooters. I mean, they had I think nine made threes out of their four and their five, right? And so, uh, and they weren't just stare down threes that we saw. Uh, you know, we, we, there wasn't a, there wasn't a whole lot. I didn't get on. The, I didn't yell at the guys. I don't think it was from lack of effort. I think they outplayed us. So, it, you know, at their place, it may have been an uphill battle either way, but they outplayed us. But then they shot the ball incredibly well. So it turned out to what it was. But um, so we just got to – we'll go back. There's nothing I'm going to do. There aren't enough fixes to not lose by 40, to go from losing by 40 to winning the game. There aren't that many things. So we, we got to do what we normally do, play our way, defend at a high level, finish plays off with a rebound, um, and then be aggressive on the offensive end. You know, uh, that hopefully we'll just play better. And, and to some degree, hopefully they won't shoot the ball like that. That would, be, that would be some real bad karma if they could do that twice in a row against us. Other questions? OK, let's go to the center, second row, and then we'll come to the front row. R raise your hand again. There you go. Uh, Lamont, uh, it, it came out earlier that you know you and South Carolina have agreed on an extension. What what does that mean for you personally, and what does it mean for the administration and the, the school to have trust in you to lead the program forward? Um, you know, I've I've got a lot of pride in what we've done um, and and what we've built, and so I'm incredibly excited about. Uh, being able to to be the coach and the rep and represent this uh, university and this athletic department, um, and more specifically this basketball team, it's a it's a real thrill for me to be able to coach these guys. Um, I love where I am, um, and they like me too. So, what else was there to do but uh, to make a good deal? So, uh, but no, I'm 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 really I'm really fortunate and blessed. That one, I get to do this as a profession. I get to hang around guys like the two guys that were out here and have some sort of small impact on what their college experience is going to uh, uh, turn out to be. And um, I take a lot of pride in that. And I'm even more blessed to be able to do it at this institution and around the people and, um, and in the state that I am. So I'm, I'm really excited, really, really excited about moving forward. and. Um, uh, this was this was a no-brainer, at least on my part. I mean, I think it was a little. I think we had to nudge uh, Coach Tanner a little bit, maybe. That, no, I'm just kidding. But I, it was it was such a great it's such a great match. Um, just me, the fit, the community, um, the the other coaches, um, you know. And I'm very grateful. I'm grateful to to uh, our board, to uh, uh, Ray Tanner. Um, to our president, and hopefully that uh, we can continue to grow for a long time. Okay, question here on the front row. Uh, 
Hey, hey, Lamont. Uh, Bob Holt, Arkansas Democrat. Bob, how are we doing? I'm good. I, I, I was in their locker room, so I, but I don't think you've been asked. Trevon Mark, obviously, they're leading the score, and you guys held him to, to two points. Well, what was it? Only, I think, four shots. Well, what was the key to uh, shutting him down? Yeah. Um, you know, we, I think we did a decent job on him the first time we played him at their place, and then he cut loose late in the game. Um, I think our, the main goal, this is, um, you're gonna, this is going to sound elementary, is that we were, we were really trying to stay between him and the basket. And sometimes that means there's a, there's a, there's a, a tasty morsel, I call it, to our guys that's out there. And you may want to reach for that thing and you think you're going to steal it. You have to lay off of that thing and then just be focused on staying in front of him. And if you're focused on staying in front of him, He's an aggressive guy. Some of the shots he's going to take are difficult. Now, he's such a good player, he can make hard shots. He does make hard shots. Um, but the percentages are in your favor. But I'll tell you where I know he gets to cooking is if you get out of position and you reach and gamble. And I, I, he's just in, I think he's impossible to stop if you do that. So I think we did a good job of, of being really solid defensively with him. Um, we showed some help when we could to try to get him slowed down. And, um, you know, we tried really hard. We tried really, really hard. We have a question in the way back there on the left. I think it was after the, the Tennessee game, uh, you were talking about building a program and kind of equated it to building a house, the found foundation of walls and so forth. Did, did you know at that time that, you know, the contract extension was something that you were going to do, you know, as, as soon as it came about versus, you know, it's been a month since your name has been floated around for, for other jobs. But did, did you know that the foundation was uh, being laid for you to stay? Yeah, I mean, I knew – I knew the foundation is, was really good. It is. It's rock solid. It's steady. It's up to code in every single way. Um, and so over the next years, we'll be continuing to bring in more materials and, and vet those out and make sure that those are the right materials that we need to do that too. But, um, you know, I didn't float my name around. A lot of people were floating my name around. I guess that's what happens this kind of this time of year, and it's it's fun, it's exciting. There's a lot of things that are going on. It makes the number of text messages I get uh, uh, out of control. But um, I was we were we've been so focused on a mission that we have here with this team, and so enthralled in trying to get better and to get to the next thing that. That's what we were really focused on. Um, in fact, when it was first presented to me, my, my natural instinct was to kind of push it back a little bit so that we could continue to do that right um, at, a, at, at full throttle. Um, and then I realized that, that you can multitask when you're, if you really want to do that. So um, we were able to, to, to move forward on that. Um, and I'm really, really excited about that. And then still quickly be able to get back to pouring more into our preparation and getting these guys ready to go out there and show what they can do. We got time for one more question. We take it right on the right side there. You know, it's been a close battle at the top of the SEC, unfortunately, you know, with five teams all competing for those top four spots. One team had to get left out. That was you guys. Um, ideally, you wouldn't have to play an extra game. Uh, you w you'd want the double bye. But now that you did play this game, ended up winning by 16, we're up by 20 at one point. Are you kind of appreciative for the confidence that kind of this game could have given yeah. you guys? Yeah, I mean, it's only, yeah, yeah. Uh, it, it's only bad to play this game if you lose this game. I mean, if you win this game, you know, it can, it can work to, to, especially when you play well. And I thought we played well today in a lot of different ways. Um, our general body of work was really good. Um, so it can it can work to to get you going, um, you know. You you don't play till Friday. That's a that's a long break. It's one of the longest breaks you've had all season, um, outside of your bye week. And so uh, it was good to get back into it. We're in the flow. You you get a feel for it. Uh, you watch a couple of games yesterday. Um, so I think it could uh, I think it could really work uh, to your to your benefit, and, and hopefully it has. We played played really well today. The guys will go get rested. We'll watch a little tape tonight, and hopefully some of the guys that did some really good things will will carry that forward in terms of confidence as we prepare to play a really, really good team uh, tomorrow. Thank you. Thanks.